It is time to turn the page on the drama and the conflict, the fear and division. It is time for a new generation of leadership in America. There's just a week before Election Day, and I'm standing outside of the Ellipse in Washington, D.C., where Vice President Kamala Harris just gave her closing argument to voters. The Ellipse is the same location where former President Trump gave a speech on January 6, 2021, before a group of his supporters attacked the Capitol. He is the person who stood at this very spot nearly four years ago and sent an armed mob to the United States Capitol to overturn the will of the people in a free and fair election. Harris is using the setting, which is in view of the White House, to draw a clear line between what her presidency would look like versus how a second Trump administration would go. America, this is not a candidate for president who is thinking about how to make your life better. This is someone who is unstable, obsessed with revenge, consumed with grievance, and out for unchecked power. Donald Trump has spent a decade trying to keep the American people divided and afraid of each other. That is who he is. But America, I am here tonight to say that is not who we are. That is not who we are. The crowd was sizable, with the Harris campaign reporting that about 75,000 people attended the event. Eventually, after the gates closed and people started getting turned away, it started stretching across the width of the ellipse, but all the way back to the Washington Monument and spreading out onto the National Mall. She painted Trump as someone who has deep grudges and resentment. She reminded the crowd of his comments about immigrants and women and his enemy from within statements that many have taken to mean that he'll go after his political opponents. And the fact that someone disagrees with us does not make them the enemy within. They are family, neighbors, classmates, co-workers. They are fellow Americans. And as Americans, we rise and fall together. The crowd, which was uh, active all night in cheers and chants and reactions to uh, what the speakers were saying, uh, really were passionate when Harris described what she's kind of calling the turning of a page of the fear and the division and pivoting to a new generation of leadership. On day one, if elected, Donald Trump would walk into that office with an enemies list. When elected, I will walk in with a to-do list. Of priorities of what I will get done for the American people. And I will work with everyone, Democrats, Republicans, and independents. And in seven days, we have the power, each of you has the power to turn the page and start writing the next chapter in the most extraordinary story ever told.